So we are now seeing the latest polls indicating that still the public does not seem to buy this tax package. They still, the approval rating for the tax package still below 50 percent. Will you be able to sell it by November? Well, I think as more Americans, especially Ohioans, get more in their paychecks, absolutely. As I travel the state of Ohio, people are thanking me. They're thanking us for giving them more money back into their pockets that they can spend on what they want it for. But at the end, look at the job creators now. Look at the businesses that are also giving back bonuses, but also agreeing to stay, come to the United States. I mean, these are all positive things that will continue to happen over this next year. Will you be able to do this even before making the tax cuts permanent for individual filers, the phase two, as some congressmen have called it? Well, look, we're already starting that process. The only reason it couldn't be done permanently is because our rules here, we do need to get it permanent. Uh, I think that's important because Americans want to be able to see that this tax cut will be sustaining. But again, we also have to sustain growth long term. So we need to make sure that not only for corporations, for individuals, the tax cuts are there and available to continue our growth and continue to help push a sustained growth. So, so Congressman, you say as you travel Ohio, people come up and thank you, and that's a good thing. But is that going to be your number one issue when you run for re-election in November? Is that the first thing out of your mouth, we gave you tax cuts? Well, one thing is going to be the tax cuts. There's no doubt about it. That's important. But we're also growing the economy. Getting rid, rid of some of the regulations are a big issue. The president and this Congress was able to eliminate many, many regulations. Those are also positive things when we talk about how we're growing the economy. And again, I think what most people are looking for in Ohio, they're looking for job growth. They're looking for economy growth. Those things are happening right now. Those are going to be the important things we talk about. How important will the president of the United States be in your campaign in Ohio? Well, look, when the president still has over 50 percent approval rating in Ohio, I know that's not every state, but Ohio, he is very well liked. I think it is going to be important. But again, match that up with the growth in the economy and what's going on in Ohio. And I think uh, in the end, it's going to be very positive. And it seems to have been a nightmare for these tax filers over um, during midnight because we saw these technical difficulties at the IRS, which is supposed to get a lot of questions now that we have this revamp in the tax system. What's going on at the IRS and what needs to change? Well, look, we need to simplify things, which this tax plan and bill started. It didn't finish, and I think that's important. We need to get back to where our IRS, our IRS is looking at ways to become more efficient. I know they always say they need more money, but I'm a business guy. I was in business for 30 years. I wish I could have got more money to be able to grow and expand. In the end, you've got to be better, you, better use of the money you have. And I think that's going to be the key. The IRS will have to learn to live with what they have. They're going to have to shift reor, reor, um, and prioritize, which I think is key, a key, which we don't do enough of in the government world. We have to do it in the real world to sustain ourselves. Will all of these changes be enough when we are seeing more congressmen, GOP congressmen retiring from the House? When it comes to the simple issue of numbers, can you still keep majority? Look, I think the American people will make that decision. I think in the end, they're going to judge this Congress as what we've gotten done and what we are getting done. Uh, this president, again, and what he's doing and what he's getting done with this Congress, I think is important. The big issue right now is the Senate. The Senate seems to be the drag on everything. They're not passing bills that the House is kicking over there. And I think that's the big issue. And uh, that's why we need to change the Senate to a point where it can get some things done as well. Finally, Congressman, across the street from you up there today, at the Supreme Court of the United States, there was a big tax case argued. I'm, I know you're familiar with it. And the question is whether states, individual states, can impose their sales tax on Internet transactions that don't have to do with Internet companies located in their state. Where is, where is your position on that? Do you favor states being able to charge their sales tax for that? And should the Congress decide that or the Supreme Court? Well, what's interesting is Ohio already has something called a usage tax. As a CPA and business guy, I learned about that when I was in, been in Ohio for almost three decades. And again, Ohio already has that tax. It is already a tax on, on things that are acquired in Ohio from outside of Ohio. The problem is there's no mechanism to collect that tax. And I think that's what the, where we need to have, when it, especially interstate commerce, that's where the federal government should step in and make sure that states are able to collect the tax that's already due. So easy answer in Ohio. We already have it. It's called the usage tax.